All right. Anyway, also in other news, Blue Archives artist apologizes after being accused of using AI. A Blue Archive artist had to apologize after official art went up showing a character with six fingers, prompting users to accuse the artist of using AI tools on official artwork. Here's a look at the artwork that the official Blue Archive account has since corrected. Do you it see could the happen problem? to anyone. Do you see the, bottom, the problem? Bottom left. Yeah, the, this girl has six fingers. The better to tickle your prostate, but what? Uh, <laughs> the hand also looks jank as fuck. It like, does look a little jank. Like the 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 middle finger, in theory, uh, is like way too out there. It You're gonna have to point that. I, I'm not sure what you mean by middle finger because the one uh, that's pointing more middle. south. <laughs> the one that's south. <laughs> is not really lined up very well. Yeah, it's just dynamic. Don't you know anything? Yeah, I don't think so. This one definitely has a different gap between the finger than this one. Yeah. So many users were quick to point out that the character had six fingers in the illustration and demanded an explanation from the developers, who then provided the line art. The artist responsible for the illustration ended up going on Twitter to explain that the drawing wasn't made with AI and also shared an earlier draft of the illustration that showed the same character with six fingers. So... Zoom and enhance. I just fucking... I... I just, I gotta ask. Is it a greater likelihood that they didn't use AI if they physically drew all six fingers and then painstakingly colored in the entire drawing and somehow did not notice the mistake? Sorry, what's the question? Or is it more reasonable to think that they used a secondary AI to redraw the picture as a line art in order to try to convince us that they didn't use AI? All right. Okay. So to have a secondary AI redraw the art from scratch from a prompt as line art, almost impossible. But to take the output mm -hmm. um, and then run it, uh, depending on your AI software, you can have, um, you can play around with it and and get the output like at the last second, just before it kind of like generates into a picture, mm -hmm. um, and and route it into a new AI and then do that. So that mm -hmm. might be possible. But honestly, with the with the like the image being so small and like unless there's a higher quality version more likely they just ran it through a photoshop filter like you could do yeah, that in two seconds that's what photoshop i was gonna filter. say like like it seems like the most obvious output would be to take anything that is of a lightness of a certain degree or higher and make all of that white right and then like you can see in the image that they actually uh, they left some of the shading lines in the background, but not the ones like on the people in terms of like their hair and stuff. And apparently they're pointing out, I guess, like problems with, I'm not sure what this problem is. I guess it's, that looks weird to some people. They don't like one of the shapes of the, I, I don't know. I don't fucking know. For some reason, he apologized even though... I mean, I guess you apologized for the six fingers. That's the egregious thing you did. I I don't know. Any other thoughts before I move on? No. Cool, I didn't think so. Uh, we mean, talked about this briefly. Yes. Uh, um, you got in under the wire. Go ahead. <laughs> generally, I... I 
I would expect there to be more artifacts than just the six fingers if it was done by mm -hmm. AI. So even though the line art doesn't really show enough proof for me with the tiny line art and crap, mm -hmm. um, I'm looking at the image and I mean, the rest of the image doesn't seem to have the telltale signs of AI. So, mm -hmm. you know, I think he might be telling the truth. He might have just fucked up. I don't know. When when you're when you're drawing things and you're like zoomed in and yeah. you know you're you're focused on the, the the minute detail with like you know four hundred zoom, you're not looking at the whole picture. It can be easy to well, honestly he could have also used up. paint chainer like an AI to color in the line art. It's possible, but like Again, AI generally leaves uh, scars, and it would be weird not to see those scars anywhere else in the picture. Anyway, I, I, without further evidence, I don't think it's actually AI. All right, so we covered this a little bit last podcast, but only like sort of in a passing uh, concept. Um, Rent a girlfriend creator plays with AI art. Fans conflicted. So, uh, Reiji uh, Miyajima, the raging cuck of mangas, um, the creator of Rent a Cuck, I mean Rent a Girlfriend, uh, recently posted a picture and stated they were enjoying playing with AI art. This, however, attracted critics of AI art as well as fans of his work to discuss the subject. In his tweet, Miyajima states that he trained an AI model off of his own drawings and got a cute output of Chizuru from Rent a Girlfriend. The See, fans? this has mm -hmm. the scars that I was telling you about. Like, if you zoom in really close to the eyeballs. Like right here? Like this weird shape that's occurring in her hair that doesn't seem to line up properly to her to her neck shape? Uh, yeah, definitely. Like, the, the well, definitely. Like like this line green... terminates here, and this line terminates here in a weird. Yeah, the, the green, like, coming up into her hair. Into and... her hair as well, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's definitely it, but definitely closer to her eyes, like the eyelashes, you can definitely see like, um, uh, some color issues in the eyelashes, um, mm -hmm. in the eyelids, mm -hmm. uh, of the winking eye, you can see yeah. like some yeah. weird <laughs> lines happening for no reason. This is um, what the, uh, the Ontario guy who's getting the, um, penis and vagina surgery is going to end up looking like down there, just like a weird uh, mess. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this one, this one has the, the, the telltale signs of, mm -hmm. of AI. I would believe this one, even though he admitted it. Uh, the fan response has been largely supportive, though there have been some mixed reactions, ranging from polite suggestions that actual drawings from Miyajima are better to comments criticizing his use of the tool. See, the thing is, though, if I train an AI off of my own artwork and then I use that AI to take a sketch to 50% there and then I just clean up the areas that are wrong... Like, there's nothing fucking wrong with that. Okay, so I agree with you. However, I will say that when you, when people say train your own AI with your own images, mm -hmm. right? They generally mean take stable diffusion base version and then use it to train uh a, yeah. on a subset so in of this images. particular case yes he probably did that he probably because built a model based on work that he produced that where it's built on top of the base everything thing that stable yeah. diffusion has so it is technically taking some input from things that are not <laughs> his uh but i still don't fucking care even if even yeah. if you 100 percent used uh ai art that was trained on things that you did not create I still see it as a tool the same way as though um, a lot of people, like for example, in, um, in the manga world, they use unreal engine and 3d models to develop the backdrops for their manga. Cause it's fucking 
faster than drawing it. Right? Like the yeah. whole point of being creative is well, I mean, some people just take achieve. pictures and put a, a yes, filter on a it, filter right? On so. it. And, and some of the times it looks awful. Sometimes you have Makoto Shinkai who makes like photos look painterly by literally just painting on top of them for any one of his things. Right. And it's like, depending, it doesn't matter how you achieve the output. As long as you are creating something that provides more beauty than the individual thing had uh, on its own, that's art. You're an artist, right? Plenty of people will take a, um, they'll take a photo of something They'll Photoshop it into the drawing they're doing, and then they will trace over that thing, like a gun, for example, which has complicated angles and difficult perspective uh, and all those sorts of things. A lot of people, especially manga artists, will take photos of guns that they find on the internet, put them into their, into their Photoshop document, and then they will draw on top of like the, the picture of a person holding a gun. They will draw the gun, and then they have the line art that looks super clean and use it in their drawing that they did the rest of the, you know, the proportion for or whatever, the body. So old man says, if artists train an AI to make art in their style, will their art ever improve or will their style be stuck in a moment in time when they started using AI? It's not about using AI trained on their stuff to, to improve. It's about, um, increasing the output. And so I would say like being an artist, there are stages to the work you're producing that take varying different amounts of time. Like rendering something takes a certain amount of time. Drafting it takes a certain amount of time. Coming up with the idea takes a certain amount of time. So in some cases, generative AI can improve your ability to come up with the idea of what you want to do because you can iterate things quickly, um, especially with the types of AI where as you draw a line, it's taking that line and trying to interpret it and generating an output. So the more details you add, the more the output is getting closer and closer to what you're envisioning, right? Right. And so if you are trying to play around with some ideas that you're not sure are going to work, you could spend 40 seconds trying to see if you think something's going to work using an AI like that instead of hours finding out, no, it's not going to work. You know what I mean? So it is a, it is a tool to increase the speed at which you can iterate ideas. Um, and yes, there are going to be some people who have almost no artistic talent, who start to get a big head and think they're some fantastical artist, when in reality, AI is doing all of the heavy lifting, right? And yes, we are going to run into a world where AI is going to start creating all of the artwork because it does become easier. And then AI is going to continually get trained on artwork done by people using AI. And then we're going to end up in a world where everything looks the same. Or, or it, it's art with no soul, right? That will eventually become the reality, 100%. But it'll be the people who actually have artistic talent. Like, for example, a person who exclusively uses generative AI, they're not going to be able to utilize the traditional tools to get that extra step further than the people who learned to do this before the tools that were invented, the generative AI tools, right? Um, so anyway, I think that's the world we're going to look at. Um, these comments also transcend fan bases with the same pay range of opinions coming from both English speakers and Japanese speakers. We've covered AR in our niche game. I don't really care about this. They're going to they're gonna make their own argument for the same thing we've already talked about, I'm guessing. So moving on. 